front of me here I have the HP Envy X360 and this is the 15-AR052SA edition of this particular computer. It's a kind of convertible tablet and this particular computer has got a 120GB um, SATA solid state drive with the M2 slot and it's also got a secondary hard drive which is a terabyte in size. And this particular solid state drive here, what we're going to do is do an upgrade of this particular drive. So I've got my PNY 1 terabyte uh, M2 SATA drive and I'm going to be installing this into the computer. So if you want a continuity of data, what we need to have is a clone of the actual solid state drive. And to do that, we need this M2 SATA enclosure and which I have this Ugreen edition of. So I'll be using this today in order to clone the data from the internal M2 SATA drive onto this one. So I'll be installing this into that. So here I have the Ugreen enclosure and then here I've got my PNY SATA M2 solid state drive. And what I'm gonna do is install it into this Ugreen enclosure. So we just push this through to reveal the inside of the enclosure. And then we put the PNY solid state drive in here. You notice that there's no actual gap for the different type of key, but that doesn't matter. We still have compatibility there. Um, this is supposed to be at an angle, so we just push that down and it includes a little holder here for the mount. It's just gonna stick that in like so. So we've just pushed this in and now that's installed into there. Now we're just gonna put the cover back on so this arrow sign here, I'm just going to slide that back in. Kind of clicks together. And then we've got our cabling here. So we have a USB-C port. So a standard USB-A cable on the end with the blue color here, which indicates that it's a USB-3 cable. And now we're just going to attach this to the actual laptop and then do a clone. So now I've got the solid state drive attached. I'm just gonna put it to the side here. I've opened up the disk management tool and I can see an uninitialized one terabyte drive here. So I'm just going to open disk management, right click here, initialize disk, press okay. We're gonna do in GPT. That's going to make this solid state drive ready to be used. So what we need to do is to click on the drive that we want to do a clone on. So the 120 gigabyte solid state drive here, that contains the operating system. We can see the Windows partitions all indicated there. Then we want to click clone this disk. And then we're going to select the one terabyte external drive here, the uh, PNY. And then I'm going to select various uh, partitions. So this GPT partition, I'm going to delete. And then what I want to do is copy the partitions individually because if I copy all four like this it's going to leave masses of space um, left open there. What we want to do is undo that. We're going to select the first two partitions only and then clone those first. So those two are there. So we're going to make a note of this size which is 931.24 so we want that size for the c partition minus a gigabyte so 930.24 is what the size we want just going to drag this down and then change this size to 930.24 and that's going to give the gigabyte left free space for the final partition here and um I'm just going to drag this down so that last partition copies and we just have a tiny 47.7 megabyte that's not going to be used in the actual solid state drive. If you calculated this properly then you could make that even smaller or non-existent. So this is now ready to do a clone. So I'm going to clone everything from the internal solid state drive onto my external attached here. Let's press next. Next. Finish. And I'm going to run this back up now. And just uh, let that run and see how that goes. It should take a little bit of time, probably an hour or so. Um, there's lots of tiny files in the Windows installation that needs to be copied. So let that copy and then we'll move on to the next step. 
So this particular clone is now complete. It took an hour and 25 minutes, which is quite a long time considering that we're only copying about 120 gigabytes of data. I'm just gonna press okay here and close. We're now ready to completely shut down the computer. So just click on the start menu, shut down, and then we're going to move on to the next step. So now that we've turned the computer off, I'm going to remove the eight bottom screw cases. I am using a T5 screwdriver to do so. I'm going to open up the screws here. So the last two screws are the standard Phillips head screws. They actually come under these rubber feet. These rubber feet have been removed already. You can always put them back on after you've done with this. So the next stage is just to remove the actual bottom. This particular laptop has a little bit of a bent hinge here, but that's not gonna stop us from removing the bottom case. Normally I just use a pry tool, like a spudger, like uh, this, to um, separate the, the bottom and uh, that just kind of starts coming apart quite easily, like so. And we're done. So we, the two screws are still in, and I'm just gonna remove the bottom case. So um, we have the standard components here. We've got the kind of hard drive, SATA drive, which is the uh, mechanical one terabyte hard drive. And then we've got this 120 gigabyte solid state drive that we're gonna be removing today. Before we do anything, we should remove the uh, battery connector course. So um, this, this cable here connects the battery to the motherboard, so just remove that. That prevents any current from flowing in the actual components, and uh, if we remove the solid state drive, it won't short anything out. Um, I'm going to remove this screw here, it's just a Phillips head screw which holds down the solid state drive, and I'm going to pick up this drive and put it to the side. I've got my Ugreen drive here, which I'm going to pull out. And I'm going to remove this holder here. And the M2 solid state drive can be just removed. Now I'm going to insert it into this slot here. Now that's installed, I can just install the mounting screw here, like that. And uh, that's basically done now. So I've put back the battery cable into the motherboard, and all we need to do is to screw back the bottom case. So just gonna push down. Make sure everything clips back into place. Okay, so we've just booted into the computer now. Um, there was a CMOS error that occurred earlier, but you just kind of skip through that and it will pick up the new hardware and the new Windows installation. As you can see here, this uh, 120 gigabyte drive has now been upgraded to a one terabyte drive, so we've got plenty more space here. So I consider this a very successful upgrade. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.